Red Wolf Pope. He's an activist that did a Seattle TED Talk about his experience at Standing Rock. He also spent time talking with King 5 journalists about issues in his community. He's someone that members of his community trusted and revered, and now he is facing a slew of charges, including rape, battery, and false imprisonment. There's a lot of layers to this case involving Pope's apartments in both Seattle and Santa Fe, New Mexico. The nine-page charging document from the Santa Fe Police Department was hard to read through. The documents say that in June, two people staying at Pope's Santa Fe apartment found pictures and videos of who they identified as Red Wolf Pope having sex with unconscious women. The two say the videos and pictures look like they had been taken at his Santa Fe and Seattle apartments. One of the women identified in the video came forward to Seattle police saying she believed she was drugged and then raped by Pope. It also says a search turned up hidden cameras in the bathrooms and bedrooms of those apartments as well. To be shared with other people who they would take to their homes and light new fires. TEDx Seattle has since taken this video off the web and then released a statement condemning the alleged behavior. Today I sat down with Sherry Trainer, a Seattleite. She's a member of the indigenous community and an acquaintance of Pope's. She said sexual assault is already a pervasive problem against indigenous women, and the fact that a member of the community may have carried out these acts is abhorrent. And it's really sad, I mean, for our community, no matter whether it be native or non-native, it was just an act of, hor it's horrible. But, um, yeah, I didn't expect this at all from, from him. Now, these documents also say that he would rent out his Seattle apartment on Airbnb. King 5, we reached out to Airbnb, notifying them about these charges. They then released a statement condemning the alleged behavior, removing Red Wolf Pope as a host, and then reaching out to law enforcement to see if they could help. Seattle police are conducting their own investigation into Pope separate from the Santa Fe case. So far, Pope has not been charged with anything in Seattle, but he is being held in Santa Fe without bond. In the newsroom. Vanessa Mishania, King 5 News.